In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build reports using the Power BI desktop. I've already connected to some data, and you can see it appear in my field list on the right-hand side here. To start building visualizations, all I need to do is choose the field that I'm interested in. So let's say I want to see our total gross sales, just tick that, and we'll insert a chart for you. I want to split that down by product, and you can see that that gets added as well. I can also choose to grab one of these fields and either drag it onto an existing visualization to add that, or to a blank part of the canvas to create a second visual. For these sort of categorical fields, we'll create a table showing you each of the different values in that field. And I can change the different type of visualization by using this gallery at the top here. Let's just add units sold. And now if I wanted to see that as a bar chart, I could choose and it'll convert into a bar chart. If I wanted to see a pie chart, or if I wanted to see this as a donut, I've got a whole range of different options for me here. If I want to see some totals, for example, I can drag out unit sold. And rather than looking at it just in this single bar, I might choose this card view. And that just gives me the top level number or how many units we've sold. If I wanted a map, I could insert one of those and then drag things like country and use this field well here to control exactly how this visual is created. So I can put country into location, and then I want to see our net sales as the value that controls the size of the bubble. This area changes depending on the visualization that you have selected. Let's just squash this up and make some space for a scatter chart. Now for a scatter chart, I've got a whole range of different options. So I can put our gross sales on our X axis, I can put our net sales on Y axis, Let's split this down by the different segments. And I could even add something like product to the legend to color each of these different bubbles based on the product. So there's a lot of control that I have over the way that the visuals are constructed using this area. I've also got control over the way that the data is filtered here. So I can say if I'm just interested in filtering this uh, scatter chart down to just a particular product, for example, I can expand that and say, you know what, I'm just interested in these top three products. I can add more filters by grabbing the field that I'm interested in and dragging it into this filters area. I can choose a visual level filter if I just want to filter this scatter chart, or I can choose a page level filter if I want to filter all of the visuals on my page. So let's say I just want to see the ones, uh, the, the sales where we didn't give any discount. Let's come in and just tick that one, and all of my visuals update to reflect that. I can also come down and give names to these pages. This is my sales overview. And I can add new pages into my report by clicking this plus button. Let's customize these visuals a little bit further. So let's again take a look at our product and our total sales. And let's use a bar chart again. Now how about customizing this? I'm looking at gross sales by product, but maybe I want to give this a different title. Well, I've got a whole range of formatting options available to me here. If I come into the title, I can say, well, actually, I don't want to look at this. Uh, this shouldn't be our gross sales. This is just a overall sales, and you can see the title gets updated. What about the color of the data points? Well, I can come in and say, actually, you know what? I don't want to use this dark color. I want everything to be blue. Or if I want to color an individual data point, I can come in and say our Montana product, well, that's red, so I'm going to make that one always red. Our Paseo product is green, so I'm going to make this one always come up as green. I can choose custom colors and either enter a hex code or pick something out of this picker. I can do a whole range of customizations on this visual, from changing the axis scales to turning data labels on and off or customizing the background. So that's a quick overview of some of the ways that you can build and customize your reports using the Power BI desktop. Thanks very much.